We uh, cooked some rice, ground deer, and then eggs and bagels. All the deer, you know? It's been good to have kind of like the coach athlete separation a little bit, you know? I was lived with Adam for the past two years, so it's always been super good. But then Son and Megan, they're the people that introduced me to Adam in the first place, but they just moved back here in December and bought this house, so they asked me to be their roommate and it's been a love story ever since. I have a huge room this time. My closet's huge. I always have like so much noble stuff and it never fits. Last time, my closet was literally just like the size of a door. Like you open up the door and like that's how much closet space it has. I felt like I was back in college again, but this one is like a whole wall. I have like so much space now. Ellie has to have coffee every morning. Drink coffee. Well, I drink coffee, but oh. not like I don't need it every morning before training. So now we have to leave like 15 minutes early just to go to Starbucks and Thatcher's to get her coffee. Black Americano. She's never had anything besides that. <laughs> Never a latte, nothing else. How do you know what you like if you haven't tried anything else? <laughs> During the quarterfinals, one day I forgot my oatmeal the first day because I was so nervous for like the competition. And then the next day, I put it inside the microwave with no water and it caught on fire. <laughs> so now I have to like take it out and like set it here or else I'm gonna forget it. So I'm gonna this. Korean rice maker that cooks like the best rice I've ever had, but it talks to you in Korean. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea what it means, but I know you push this button to cook rice. <laughs> it's fancy though. I'm sure there's a way to turn it off, but I don't want to because it sounds awesome. That's cool. <laughs> Go over there. Yeah, look at that good girl. Good girl, Indy. There you go. Paper is her toy. I was I feel so like mine looks way like, bigger. I was like, am mine actually that size? <laughs> like, surely not. Yeah, mine look massive compared yeah, to you. Yeah, yours look way bigger. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Frick. We're telling us the lose lose we also situation. Had very similar sized biceps. No. <laughs> no, mine are massive. <laughs> I think you should show the photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, what's the workout called? Han? Han Memorial Workout for a, like, a lady in Australia. And we did it at Torian last year and. I bombed pretty badly. <laughs> was you gonna crush it today? What is it? I forgot. Um, so it's a hundred foot handstand walk, six short rope climbs, a hundred foot double kettlebell walking lunge, and then you go back hundred foot handstand walk, four short rope climbs, hundred foot walking lunge, and then a hundred foot handstand walk, three <laughs> short rope climbs, a hundred foot walking Easy. lunge. Easy. Easy peasy. And Super then I think sad. we're gonna do one of the other workouts from the Mac today. Like workouts that I gotta work on a lot, she crushes me in, and then <laughs> vice versa. Hey, good job, Justin. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I just, I just came over after, just like, good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you did real good. Yeah. Nice job today. It doesn't look like that hard of a workout. I'm like, I just want someone else to do it and go hard and see if like, it was me that day or what. And then Nate and Tina did it, and I have pictures of Nate just like this. <laughs> it's every machine. It goes row, C2 bike, skier, assault bike, echo bike. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Like you do 10 cows as fast as possible. Like that's all you have and you rest like three minutes. And then you go get on the C2 bike, 10 cows as fast as you can, rest like three minutes or four minutes. <laughs> like it only takes like, like I, I try to do it on a four minute timer. So you work for like literally 10 seconds and then you rest three minutes and 50 seconds. So you do that 10, 10, 10, 10, and then you do 15, 15, 15, 15, and then 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And that's it. No, it doesn't sound bad, does it? And then in the middle of the round of 15, you're like, <laughs> and then. You just gotta like absolutely rip it. I remember I was on a four minute timer on the round of 20, I finished the skier, and then I went to like a six minute rest, and I was like, uh-oh. Did the assault bike, and then I took a 10 minute rest, and this was my rest, just sitting like this. <laughs> I was like, don't puke, don't puke. And then I finally like was like, all right, I think I can do this last bike, but if I like sell out, I'm gonna puke. And I like opened up the garage door 
like sold out, did it in like 22 seconds, mm -hmm. and then just like sprinted outside puking. Uh, after quarterfinals, it's kind of time to start ramping up the volume just a little bit and get ready for semifinals because like in the open, you're really just doing one workout a week. Like that's what you need to be, your body needs to be ready for. And then getting into quarterfinals, we had like four work or five workouts in like four days. So um, that was a little bit more than semifinals. I mean, that's where it's time to kind of like show up for. So it's been really good. It's always been super nice. Ellie's been here for a couple weeks just training. So uh, it's always fun to have someone to kind of combine sufferings better than suffering on your own, you know? The same people that hosted the map are also hosting the Syndicate Crown. So I'm really curious to see how it is, like if they just do, end up doing the same workouts or if they're gonna change them up a little bit. But uh, I always feel like my biggest strength is in-person competition and you got to do well in every aspect of the season, no matter what comes up, you can compete. So that means online competition, open, open style workouts and quarterfinal workouts. So to be able to do the open this year and to go in the last week with a chance to win it was, I was super stoked about that. And obviously to win quarterfinals was, was super awesome. Oh, it gets harder if you push harder. I know. I've, I actually increased it to the highest it goes. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I it, think it's it was, pretty high. That, that's probably needs to go like that much lower. <laughs> Getting a little bit lower. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> arms and everything blow up. The thing that's hard about the short rope is that there's not enough to like do like a solid hook. And then when you don't get a good clamp on, like you're just sliding trying to get and you get an extra pull in. So it turned out just to be like a rope climb workout, how fast you can get up. I kept my handstand walks. I just did 50 foot sections on round two and three. Lunges were good. I mean, honestly, like you just kind of feel sorry for yourself and you kind of go slow thinking it's gonna make them like better. My grip was super blown. Obviously rope climbs is a super grippy movement, but then you go into handstand walks and your hands are just like in flexion the whole time. So like your forearms don't get to like relax or have a break. And even on like the lunges, you're trying to like relax your hands as much as you can when you're holding the kettlebells, but like you're still holding on to something. So like throughout the whole workout, your grip's constantly working and it just freaking <laughs> blows up. But good thing we have another grippy workout, you know, it's gonna be a good one. So we're just getting some good training in before semis. I'm learning so much like, you can see just from how he goes about everything, why he's the best in the world. It's just been amazing to like learn from both him and Adam and enjoy the heat. So. I sort of started a few weeks before the 2017 games. I didn't really know you could compete in CrossFit. That was obviously the year that Tia won. So that was a pretty big deal in Australia. And I remember watching that and just seeing like the emotion of it. And from then on, I was like, that's what I want to do worked my ass off and managed to get there four years later, which is pretty cool. I graduated from physiotherapy. I was still training a bit, but it was sort of backseat. And then once I graduated, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna give this a real red hot crack, full steam ahead and like shocked myself completely in making the games. And then, yeah, haven't looked back really. Don't make fun of me. Catch you later. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> How do you say it in Australian? Catch you later. Catch you later. Catch you later. Catch you later. Can you well, say I'm, I'm a big girl? girl? I'm a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> she does an American accent. She like makes a Western yeah. one. But when we do an Australian one, we do a Western <laughs> one too. <laughs> You want a Don't call the reps. Uh, you know, after Justin won the games, uh, I thought I would the commemorate him. The you know, I didn't tell him I was growing it. And so he saw it on a video on Instagram or something the and texted me. He was red? like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then he showed up at our house and here it is. Yeah, it's not bad. At first, not good. Now that it's got a little more volume. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll keep it for now. We make a lot of bets now in the gym about random stuff, but we like bet movements. And I bet 100 jumping lunges the other day, and it's a great punishment. It only takes like a minute and a half, two minutes, and then you make them sprint somewhere after, and they can't go anywhere. It's pretty fun. <laughs> do you get to 80 without stopping? You don't have to do 20. Oh, what? Oh! Go! Go again! Round 50! Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, six, 
Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh. Keep going! Nineteen, twenty, <laughs> run! Go! <laughs> oh, it's on neutral. We're hollow out! Yeah, so it, w it went really well. I was really happy. I finished and I was like, dang, like, I, I just wasn't as tired as I thought. I think if I did it again, I'd push a little bit faster on the skier. I remember last time it was pretty hard for me to do the chest bar. I did them on Broken today, but uh, it was still really good. I was super pumped with it. Like, I still feel like there's a lot left in the tank and I was only two seconds off my time. It was a good training day, but now we're done. And uh, just do some strength stuff, get big, you know? But that's it. <laughs>